The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the strategy of the Republic of Western Armenia, third day of the seminar, a valence in Van, Western Armenia, earthquake in Nakhijevan, Artsakh to unite emergency situations agency and police under Ministry of Internal Affairs, European Parliament condemning Azeri war crimes and calling for accountability, Foreign Ministry of Armenia, U.S. Administration to review security assistance to Azerbaijan, Blinken, Armenia and Iran renewing the agreement on joint film projects. Arno Babajanya's birthday is on January 22. The President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, presented the strategic goals of the country on the third day of the seminar lecture. Addressing those present, President Abrahamian asked if there were any points that they would like to change or reformulate in the strategy, but those present fully agreed with the proposed goal. The main goal of the strategy of Western Armenia is strengthening, protecting and developing the sovereignty of Western Armenia and the rights of the Armenian people. In his speech, the president mentioned the most important condition for being the master of a world, as the responsibilities of the officials often change in different diplomatic and political situations. Details were discussed with the Member of Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Guillermo Caramanian, about future plans in Argentina and Latin America, which mostly concern Armenians deported from Western Armenia. The roads of six villages and the district were closed as a result of an avalanche in Chatak province, Van, Western Armenia. While there are no casualties as a result of the avalanche in Kurulu district, there is snow almost everywhere in the region during this season. The Seismic Protection Service of the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Armenia on Thursday recorded a 3.8 magnitude earthquake in the Nakhijevan Armenia border at 11.23 pm local time, 33 km northwest of Nakhijevan, Azerbaijan, and 10 km beneath the surface. It measured magnitude 5 at the epicenter. The seismic activity was also felt in Vaik and Yaragnazor towns of Vyosor province and in a number of settlements of Sunik province of Armenia with magnitude 3 to 4. The government of Artsakh plans to merge the state service of emergency situations and the police into a single body, the Ministry of Internal Affairs. The Parliament's press service reported that the bills on creating the new ministry have been introduced and will be submitted for plenary debates upon the positive conclusion by State Legal Affairs Committee. Armenia attaches great importance to the fact that the European Parliament condemned that Turkey transferred foreign terrorist fighters from Syria and elsewhere to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone. As Armen Press reports, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Anna Nagdalyan emphasized the European Parliament's stance on humanitarian issues, namely the need for an immediate repatriation of Armenian prisoners of war who are still in Azeri custody. There are a number of important provisions enshrined in the report resolutions adopted by the European Parliament which are related to the Azerbaijani aggression against Artsakh and Turkey's involvement in it, the committed war crimes as well as the steps to be undertaken to eliminate the consequences of the aggression, especially to address humanitarian issues. We emphasize the importance of the efforts of international community in the form of such resolutions to contribute to the elimination of the causes and consequences of the war, which in accordance to the resolution supposes the lasting settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict within the framework of the OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs and the determination of the future legal status of Artsakh on the basis of the basic principles proposed by the co-chairs. U.S. President Joe Biden's nominee to serve as Secretary of State Antony Blinken in written responses submitted following his confirmation hearing before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee expressed support for U.S. funding to meet the security needs of Armenia and the ongoing humanitarian crisis in and around Nagorno-Karabakh reported the Armenian National Committee of America. In four detailed responses to questions for the record submitted by Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Robert Menendez, Blinken voiced support for the provision to Armenia of security assistance and aid to strengthen democratic governance and promote economic growth, both of which will help to strengthen Armenia's security and resilience. He added that in light of the recent outbreak of hostilities in Nagorno-Karabakh, our administration will review our security assistance to Azerbaijan, noting that if the circumstances warrant, the Biden-Harris administration will be prepared to suspend waivers of requirements under Section 907 of the Freedom Support Act. In three of his responses, he underscored his commitment to working with Congress and the Secretary of Defense to determine the appropriate level of assistance to meet the security needs of Armenia and the region. Blinken stated that he will reinvigorate U.S. engagement to find a permanent settlement to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict that protects the security of Nagorno-Karabakh and helps to ensure another war does not break out. 
This includes stepping up our engagement via the MISC group, of which the United States is a co-chair, and additional diplomatic work to prevent any further interference by third parties. The director of the National Cinema Center of Armenia, Shoshanik Mirzakhanyan, and director of the Farabi Film Foundation, Ali Raza Tabesh, recently renewed the agreement on cooperation in the field of cinematography in order to create joint film projects and strengthen Armenian-Iranian cultural connections. The document was signed in 2017 for three years. As reported by Armen Press, the officials of the two structures expressed confidence that the re-signing of the cooperation agreement will create prospects and ways for the development of new film projects. According to Mirza Khanyan, the re-signing of the document gives an opportunity for further expanding and deepening long-term cultural cooperation between Iran and Armenia. Director of the Farabi Film Foundation Ali Reza Tabesh is more than convinced that it is the beginning of new opportunities for cooperation between the two countries. Arna Babajanyan was born in Yerevan on January 22, 1921. He wrote his first musical composition at the age of nine. The works of the great composer, pianist, and people's artist of the USSR, Arno Babajanyan, have been performed both in Armenia and all over the world. Creators of art considered him a wonderful creator and an innovator who excelled both in performing and composing art. Arno Babajanyan's rich creative heritage includes songs, instrumental performances, and symphonic music. He was working with different styles. Classical, pop, jazz. Aram Khachatrian and Sergei Rachmaninov had an influence on Babajanya's creative style. Meanwhile, his creative personality was manifested in the piano trio Heroic Ballet, written for the piano orchestra. He wrote the wildly popular Armenian Rhapsody in 1950. The composer enjoyed great reputation collaborating with the poet Robert Razdjestrinsky and the singer Muslim Magamaya. The first love song in Yerevan are considered the anthems of their hometown. Babajanya's Yerkragundi Lavagun Kahaka, Kamurjner, Gushakir Sankutunas, Mishtapir, and other songs performed in the USSR and abroad are famous. Arna Babajanyan died in Moscow on November 11, 1983. Now we present you Hayrik Muradjan Ensemble. <laughs> is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.